Welcome along to the Make It Count podcast. My name is David. My name is Matthew. And we are the Taylor Bros. Indeed we are. And we've been doing a summer shorts series. This is episode five, and it's all around the five, dead, six dead simple ways <laughs> to improve your relationships. It's a blog post I, blog post I wrote um, a couple of years David's ago. David's forgotten it, how to speak English today, I, so that's I fine. I have totally forgotten how to speak English. But yeah, it's about improving relationships. It's relinked to trust and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and how to That's improve okay. relationships because trust is a key part of relationships and everything we do is either a deposit or withdrawal from that relational bank account that emotional is the emotional bank account isn't it yes uh, and so yeah that's the importance of trust read the blog post it's in the links if you haven't um if you haven't read it before and today one is all about show personal integrity and that's like there's a couple of things conforming reality to our words and the other one is being loyal to the person and not there those are some of the things the headlines underneath showing personal integrity yeah and there was a story i came across about gandhi and he came to england in the sort of 1930s and did a speech to the house of parliament and he spoke eloquently and beautifully so people said for two hours straight without notes wow. and afterwards people were like how did you do that and they talked to someone who knew gandhi really well and they said you know how was he able to speak for two hours so beautifully so eloquently and without notes like that's incredible and they said well you obviously don't know him because he's worked so hard about showing that his feelings and his thoughts his words and his actions are all in alignment Wow. So if he's thinking and feeling it, it's because it's who he is. He's not saying one thing and believing another thing or doing one thing and, and saying another thing. He's in total alignment. He's worked really hard to create that in his body and in himself. So wherever he shows up, he is him. Wow. And that's about personal integrity is when. And, and I suppose if there's that uh, was it integer basically is is a whole number. It's your whole, your one you are one in your yes. thoughts, in your thinking, in your mind, in your body, in your actions, and in your in your words. When we are that, that is personal integrity. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's powerful. And yeah, that's a helpful way of thinking about what integrity looks like, because we I think there's many different takes on it. But to think of it as this one united, not divided, not split between a, maybe a private and a public or an internal and an external world. I like that. And, and it's so interesting as well. Just that story is it is remarkable because you think there are whole courses that people are selling and running at the moment on how to present in a eloquent way and for, you know, a charismatic way without notes and all sorts of things that you can do, which are basically all about your charisma and all about the personality and the the, the skill set in order to do that. But there's probably very little that goes into Actually, the way that you do that is first you go and live a couple of decades, live this out, and then come back and do it because then it will just flow. <laughs> like nobody's saying that because we want the quick fix. That's... And it, like you said, there's something powerful whenever you've seen someone that's done a public speaking uh, or public spoke and they've talked without notes because mm -hmm. it's in them. And there's a you know, so there's some people that will just memorize it, but actually it's somehow more powerful if it's just, hey, they know this, they know how to communicate really well because, as you said, they've lived it. And it, it's also a bit of a sad thing that for so many of us, like that idea of being one in our thoughts, our actions, our words feels so foreign and so difficult because we have these forces on us and our pressure of like, hey, in this situation, this is kind of what these people are expecting from me. So I'll sort of, you know, share share this there and then over there I'll say that. And, you know, we're, we're a bit chameleon-like, but actually there's a, and it can feel scary to put ourselves out because if we're a chameleon over here and they don't like that, well, they've rejected a not real me. And if I'm a bit chameleon over here and they reject that, I've, they've rejected a not real me. But actually... If if I'm me and I show up and they reject it, it's like, well, they're rejecting actually my oneness, my integrity, who I am. Yeah. Um, but that also operates freedom because 
actually when people can trust who you are and that you are not putting up a facade there is a deeper trust and a relationship there and I, th- I suppose that's why personal integrity is important um, because what we say matters and when people trust us because what we say and communicate and who we are and what we think and believe are aligned that is powerful absolutely I've got a couple it's not really a full story but when it comes to conforming reality to our words we uh, we have a shared uh, mutual friends Dan and Susie Potter I, I remember Dan saying once in, sometime in the last year that he he respects um, you and me as well for living out some of the things that we talk about when it comes to just healthy ways of living we're talking about sleep and exercising and journaling and how we're not just talking about them but we we live them out and so you know for me that looks like i i have some stuff on my phone which pretty much shuts off all of like the the social media all of the most communication internet access in the evening so that i then okay now it's time to wind down now it's time to get to bed and that can be a faff sometimes especially if you know I'm on the phone to someone's like uh, just by the way, uh, this is going to end in like five minutes. So time for me to go to bed or, you know, and that can be a, a personal cross. But it is I want to live out. I want to conform the reality to what I've said. My my words are my intention is to get a good night's sleep every, every mm. night and to go to bed early. Well, I've made this so that it helps me to conform. And, and he said, I respect you guys for that. You guys are some of the only people I know that actually live this stuff out. I find the second one though, you know, be loyal to the person out there. I want that. I think I want that to be more true of me than it is. Mm. I'm much more likely to just be silent about the person that's not there when the, cause you get it and you get it in the, the workplace, you get it in the football team, you, you hear it all the time. And it's not necessarily out and out slander, but it's little digs and little sly comments about people that aren't in the room, you know, oh, they did that again or, or they've got the slippery shoulders, nothing sticks on them, or you know, that and we love it. I we love it because it means that we're in on the little gossip, or we're the, we're not the one being attacked, so we're in the group. And and I try not to say bad things about other people when they're not there, although I've undoubtedly have complained about people not in the room, loads, plenty too many times. But the hardest thing is to stand up and go, actually, you know. Is this how we would speak about them if they were in the room? Mm-hmm. And I want to I want to share something honouring about them, especially because they're not in the room. Mm-hmm. Because you do know that if that's how you're speaking with about other people, and that's the culture that you're in, well, what's happening when you're not in the room? Mm-hmm. You better well bet that some things are being said about you that you wouldn't best be pleased about. Yeah. And I'm not too fussed about that because I know I've, I'm not without my flaws and there's probably justified justified criticism at me. But it would be nice if that was to my face because then I could improve. And it would be maybe the same thing to other people. Let's show each other the respect. And I think that is part of the thing. Maybe we're drifting a little bit, but that idea of to the face. And I think ultimately I want to be a person that it's easier to say it to my face yeah. than it is to say it behind my back. Yeah. Because there are some people, we all know this, sometimes we are those people that it's so difficult to tell us that thing that the only way it's going to come out is somewhere else. <laughs> yes. And and so, like you said, that, but can we be loyal to those people? And sometimes it's like, well, I will do the difficult thing and I will challenge them on that thing or say the difficult thing to those people. But, mm. you know, there's a, there's a risk there. But I think oftentimes we make it harder to tell ourselves the hard, like for other people to tell us the hard thing than we do to do it to we just make it we don't want to hear the bad news so we just yes. shut that down but i suppose like, the way so... i've heard this done well before i think it might have been a, a manager saying this so someone came to them and complained about someone mm. and the person said back to them well, have you spoken to them about it yet mm. and they said no well, i don't want to hear about it yet you've got to go and talk to them about it first mm-hmm. and so it's not about you can't raise any complaints about someone and maybe you know again if there's a if there's a grievance or whatever they might you know not obviously be reasonable we're not saying go and acute you know go and um, confront someone that's done you major harm but if it's a small thing and you can go and talk to them that's a a way forward and then if they don't accept it then you can escalate it maybe but yeah slightly different anyway off piece but yeah so this one was all about personal integrity you can improve your relationships and build trust by showing personal integrity that is in being one in your thoughts 
your actions and your words and also by being loyal to the people not there and that's the tough one isn't it ultimately yeah. because we like to get in on that train oh i can't believe X, y, yeah. we want to fit in in the moment so that's it for this episode of the make it count podcast and our fifth one in the summer short series join us next week for the last one of this summer shorts um series excellent can't wait see you guys next week